shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. Hey, what's up YouTube? Your boy Chris, I'm out on the gold wing today. Out on the gold wing. And it's a good day for a ride. I'm showing the current temp of 84 degrees. 84 degrees early in the morning already. It's been hot y'all. It's been almost too hot to ride. But today I decided to give me a little ride in out on my 2016 Honda Gold Wing. Cruising through the mean streets of Memphis. And it feels good to be out on the Gold Wing. The Bikers Roundup has finally moved out, so I would like to thank everybody that came down. I know a lot of you guys have reached out and wanted to meet up with me. But shouts out to all of the Caliente followers that got with me. I appreciate you guys. I also want to give a quick shout out to Kenneth. Kenneth out there in Liberty, Texas. Kenneth, a writer named Wallace, and also D. Kenneth Joseph yep. watches my videos down here at Chow Time. How long you been watching? Oh, about 10 years. It's 10 been years. a long time. Okay, where y'all yep. ride up from? We riding up from Houston, outside of Houston, Liberty, Texas. Liberty, Texas. Yep. In the house. In the house. All right. <laughs> What's up, gentlemen? Chris, how you doing? Chris. I follow you too, man. All right, all right. Nice to meet you. All right. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you, Chris. All right, all right. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm going to grab a bite to eat. I'm just checking out their gold wings. Yes, sir. The really ultimate nice seat. Man. I like that. I like that that color scheme. Man, I like that. Yeah, it really is. You painted that yourself? You I had that painted? You can tell it's, it's I'm a rookie on it, but I did. Oh, it looks good. It looks yeah, good. I took it off. Oh, okay. It. What's this? A 08? This is a 10. 2010? Okay. What year is your going? 07. 07? So shouts out to those guys. I appreciate you. But it was a lot of bikers here in town. Man, the traffic was really, really thick. I know on one of the occasions, I tried to go down to the bikers roundup and they wasn't even letting people in. It was just that crowded. They said it was just extremely crowded. A lot of people was there. It was hot. So if you was able to get in, you were successful. I hope everybody had a good time here in Memphis, Tennessee. Bill Street was crunk. A lot of people was down there on Bill Street. Been a lot of, a lot of bikes. A lot of people from out of town. And we're gonna get on out of here. A lot of bikes. Down here on world famous Bill Street. And they got it so packed, you can't even ride through. Man. But if you guys been keeping up with my channel, I also had concerns that I talked about, you know, before the roundup even started. I talked about the drivers, you know, and how you gotta be really careful out here when you're in this Memphis area, cause they drive, man, sometimes like it's the last day on earth. So you have to be careful out here. As a matter of fact, we actually had a couple of uh, incidents here. Automobile incidents. One biker lost his life. And I think that was related to uh, health conditions. So my condolences to the family of Dr. Rip. Heard that he lost his life down there at the at the roundup but it didn't have anything to do with the roundup i heard that he had a heart attack that's what i've heard 
So my condolences to his family. I, I actually had the opportunity to meet meet him. Uh, matter of fact, a friend of mine, you guys have seen him in my videos, JC. Now JC the one that actually got me in the dark side of it, but JC was looking for a trailer at the time for his Honda Goldwing and somebody reached out and let me know that hey man this guy named Dr. Rip has a trailer for sale an escapade trailer you might be interested in it because you pull trailers all the time and uh, I said no I'm not interested in the trailer but I know who might be interested in the trailer but to make a long story short I went out and looked at the trailer for a friend of mine, JC, out there in Arkansas. And I actually convinced JC to buy that trailer from Dr. Rip. So Dr. Rip sold the trailer to JC. I went over to Dr. Rip's house. I inspected the trailer. As a matter of fact, I picked up the trailer and I brought it back to my house and I actually prepared it for JC. You know, I did things like uh, making sure all his lights was working, uh, getting his pigtail put on for the uh, the trailer wiring and also greasing the barons and then I uh, JC came over to my house and picked the trailer up so we even rode one time to the MVA for JC to get the registration you know changed over to the trailer that he bought from Dr. Rip so that was the I think that was the only time that I've ever had the opportunity to ride with him was at one time over to Arkansas and like I said my interaction with him was uh, when I went over to his house and looked at the trailer and then um, going back over there to pick the trailer up for JC over in Arkansas so my condolences to the family of Dr. Rip I think his real name was James Gray but Dr. Rip actually uh, it's to my understanding he was on his trike at the roundup or something happened and he had a heart attack and he crashed on his bike and uh, he didn't survive you know that's to my understanding if you guys have some some better information for me be sure to put it down in the description below if I have it incorrect but uh, my condolences to the family I didn't get a chance to make it to the funeral because I was working I was already you know scheduled to work that's one thing about me I work a lot of hours I know a lot of people think all I do is just ride the bike and make videos but unfortunately that's not the case you know these motorcycles are expensive everything about motorcycling is expensive so you have to have uh, money to pay for these things and to live so I work a lot of hours and when I'm not working I try to ride as much as I can and make videos when I can so that's probably why you guys see me all the time I'm on the bike you don't see me when I'm out working but anyway, shouts out to uh, friends and shouts out to everyone uh, that watches my channel. Like I said, my apologies, I didn't make it to the funeral because of my schedule. So rest in peace, Dr. Rip, uh, better known as James Gray, his real name. So I'm just out here cruising this morning, rambling on the go when you're trying to get the ride in. It's actually 82 degrees out, 82 degrees. And also, doing that roundup, I heard of another uh, fatality. I think a couple people actually were killed on a, a golf cart. You know, somebody ran into them. And the story was, you know, it was on the local news right here in town. People that when you're riding in this area, to be careful, you know, keep your head on a swivel. You know, because people nowadays, they drive really bad, y'all. They they drive like they in such a hurry, and they drive like it's the last day on Earth. So, you know, that's why I keep blind spot mirrors on my bike. I always watch my... You got to watch your six, especially when you're out here on these interstates. You know, sometimes when you're on these little side streets and back roads, you can kind of relax a little bit. Uh, but when you're on the interstates, make sure you keep your, your eyes in the back of your head because people suddenly come up behind you flying 100 miles an hour. And when you're approaching an intersection, you have to really be careful too because you don't know what the person behind you is going to do. They start to crash into you or the person in front of you is up to turn in front of you at, at the intersection. So you got to be really careful on the interstates and you got to be careful at the intersections. So 
So it doesn't matter if you're riding here in the Mid-South or if you're riding in any state, state or city for that matter, you gotta, you know, just be extra careful. But around in this area, you know, be really, really careful. You know, I've, I've spent many, many years here. I was actually born and raised out here. And these motorcycles are inherently dangerous, so we really have to, you know, just be careful and keep our head on the swivel when we're out here riding these motorcycles. So if anybody is in the market for a motorcycle, if anybody out there watching this video and you're in the market for a motorcycle, got a good deal for you guys. I know a guy who's selling I know this guy personally and he's selling his a 2010 Kawasaki Forager. The bike only has, I think it has 19,000 miles on it. It's a touring bike. And he's in the market to sell this Kawasaki Forager. So if anybody out there is looking for a good deal on a touring motorcycle, this might be a good deal for you. Kawasaki Voyager motorcycle. I'll get more information for you guys and maybe do a, you know, put this in another video. But sometimes when I put this stuff out there, you know, it goes fast. It goes really, really fast. So if anybody out there that's watching this video and you're in the market for a touring motorcycle, a friend of mine is selling his Kawasaki Voyager. It's a 2010. And I think he's asking about $8,000 for it. A really good deal on a Kawasaki Voyager. It's a touring motorcycle and the bike only has 19,000 miles on it. So I'm gonna leave my telephone number down in the description of this video. If you guys wanna call me, get any information that I can provide. I might even leave the customer's number down in the description of the video as well. So this may be your opportunity. You know, it's not a gold wing, but it's a V-twin touring bike. It's a V-twin. $8,000 for a touring motorcycle. Sounds a lot better than $30,000 for a touring motorcycle. So check the description of the video. I'm gonna include a phone number that you can call for more information about this Kawasaki Voyager for sale is by a private owner it's not a dealer it's a private owner so I'm just out here cruising on my Honda Gold Wing this morning trying to get the ride in early this morning and it's already starting to warm up showing 82 degrees but we got some cloud coverage today got some overcast I think today is a 20% chance of rain, something like that. 20% chance of rain. Also for sale, I have my seat that I had on my 2016 Honda Goldwing, my custom red seat. I'm selling it. It's three pieces, it's a heated seat. It's actually the original seat that came off my 2016 Honda Goldwing. It'll fit your models 2012 through 2017. It's the original seat. I had it reupholstered. The color is red. And you guys have seen it in my video. It's like red and black with uh, diamond stitching. The seat is in very good shape. I actually paid about, I actually paid $2,000 that custom seat for that work and I'm gonna sell it for I'll sell it for half of what I paid for it I'm just gonna send you the seat the passenger backrest and it also has a revolution backrest that was recovered so you're getting three pieces you're getting a heated seat the passenger backrest and you're getting the the Revolution backrest. And I paid like $2,000 to have that that seat reupholstered, recovered. And it's pretty comfortable too. 
I just needed something different. I know some of you are probably saying, well, why are you selling it? Sometimes I just like to change up. Sometimes I just like something different. Sometimes I like to change things up. And try something different and I have it already boxed up in a box. All I have to do is send it out to you. If you're interested in it and you want to purchase it, I'll sell it for half price. All three pieces. That Revolution backrest actually if to buy one of those things brand new, you're fixing to spend at least what around 400 bucks just to get a a Revolution backrest. So you're getting the heated seat that plugs directly into the OEM of the 2012 through 2017 Goldwing. You're getting the Revolution backrest that also matches and you're getting a passenger backrest all for a thousand dollars and you don't have to send me your seat i'm just gonna ship you my seat i got it already in the box i got it all wrapped up uh, it's in very good condition it's not perfect but it's in very good condition so if anybody that's watching this video and you want to buy my my caliente red seat i'm going to include my phone number in the description of this video I'm not going to take up any more of your time if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel please take the opportunity to click that subscribe button if you like the videos that i post be sure to click the like button if you would like to make a donation to the channel be sure to click that thanks button click that thanks button that helps me to bring you guys future videos so i'm not going to take up any more of your time check the description of the video this is your boy chris out on the gold wing out on the gold wing the most luxurious motorcycle in the world and i will as always i will talk to you guys later see ya Right, fellas y'all gotta tell me what do y'all think it is chow time hey i thought it was off the chain yeah. man i off the chain. enjoyed myself y'all full, full. I'm full. <laughs> hey, Chris, thank you uh, thank you you welcome man you welcome oh, i enjoyed these guys you came down for my bike uh, you can't <laughs> on the bike huh? all right yeah that chow time was off the chain yeah, yeah we full sure did. Sure did. yes sir